How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be looking at a wine cooler from Kaya and it's also smart as well. Now the part and parcel of actually enjoying your wine, whether it's red, white, sparkling, is drinking them at the right temperature. And since moving into my new place I've been adding new home appliances here and there and the key factor in deciding what to get is actually making sure that they're all connected. So connected to my smartphone so I can control it in some sort of way. Let's check it out. The higher HWS42 GDAU1 to be exact is one of if not the best 42 bottle wine cooler that you can get right now. It looks the part with a minimalist look glass door so you can quickly glance and see what's inside and if you need to fill it up again. It comes with a key so you can keep it locked. Uh, something useful if you have a bottle of wine in there that you don't want anyone to touch. Inside you'll notice it has a dual space set up meaning you can keep your red wine at the top, white at the bottom and there's even space right at the bottom to keep your magnum bottles. On the inside you also get some lights in there as well so you can actually see what's inside from outside and even when you open the door as well. You just have to activate it by pressing the light button or if you open the door the lights gradually light up and when you close it as well it gradually just goes down as well. Kind of some sort of ambient lighting which looks pretty cool. Speaking of buttons, up top you have seven capacitive touch buttons and a display so you can see vital information like the temperature set in each space or zones humidity levels and when setting the temperature it lets you know which zone is selected and when changing the temperature as well it can change uh, from red white to sparkling depending on which temperature zone you are in. You have a wine temperature range of 5 to 20 degrees which is just what you need. Using the buttons is also very easy to understand. You press the temperature button to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit and to change the temperature in the upper and lower zones you simply press the zone button then tap the minus to reduce the temperature or press the plus button to increase it. If you press and hold the temperature button for three seconds, you get on the display the humidity levels in percentage and press the minus or the plus buttons to turn it off again. So turn off the humidity display. Note, if you keep the door open for longer than one minute, it will start beeping until you close the door or press one of the buttons. Usually the buttons will be locked to prevent you from accidentally pressing anything so you will need to press and hold the lock button for three seconds to unlock it or lock it back up again. The power button is self-explanatory and the light button doubles up as your Wi-Fi connection settings so when you go through the settings you have to press and hold it to activate the Wi-Fi antenna. The cooler is also pretty intelligent with something called low temperature compensation which basically means that when the temperature is lower than the set values it will regulate itself back up to where it should be. Where things get excited though is when it's connected to the Hon app as well. So with the Hon app, you can use it to control different things. Let me show you. The app is available on iOS and Android, but using my iOS device here, the first thing you notice is you get greeted with the home screen where you can select your wine cooler. Then you have the most important information, so the upper and lower zone temperatures. Under that, you can set programs. So for my upper zone, I have it set to red wine, which sets temperature automatically but you can also manually change it if you like. You also have the option for white and sparkling wines. Tap the special tab and you can have other things like whiskey, rosé, champagne, for example. Once you're happy with the programming, hit confirm and the wine cooler updates almost straight away. Back onto the dashboard, you can see your wine list from the latest uploads, your favorites and wine history. On the wine list tab, you can see all the bottles in your wine cooler and each one tells you the quantity the type and where it's from as well. Tap the filter button and you have various ways of sorting the wine like dates, region, grapes and date added. At the center you have the add button where you can scan a butter for example and it adds it to the list. The inspire me tab is pretty cool as well. You can use it to pair your wine with whatever you're eating or your favorite food. So tapping beef for example gives me the option from my inventory for me to choose from that matches beef. And under more you can change appliance settings like light on, temperature unit, Wi-Fi settings, notifications, and so on. Under my wines, you can create a preference profile of what kind of wine you like. Once you answer a few questions, including your food preferences, it then proceeds to suggest some wine that you can purchase and add to your list. Under maintenance, you can check the zone humidity levels and carbon filter status, so you know when to change those things. More on scanning your bottles though, it's pretty smart how it does it. So all you have to do is tap the add bottle icon at the bottom, the camera turns on and it's ready to scan your bottle. Once you've scanned the bottle, within seconds, you have the name and all, all the characteristics and you can add things like price, any comments you have, and if you have more than one, you can add more with the plus sign. 
You can even add a tag like vintage. Then you select its position. So for me, I'd select upper zone because that's where all my red wine is. The app will also suggest the perfect temperature for the wine that you've just scanned. You can also manually adjust it again if you like and hit save. Once you've finished any bottle inside of your wine cooler, you can then select drink wine or buy to replenish it. There you have it for the higher wine cooler. It's connected, it's snazzy, it's minimalist in some ways as well, and it just looks apart in my house. Guys, as always, if you have any questions, drop them below. Let me know. I do my best to answer your questions. All relevant links will be in the description area, so do check it out if you want to do some extra research for yourself. But in the meantime, if this is your first time on the channel, please do subscribe. Hit the bell notification as well, so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video up on my channel. Make sure you like it as well and uh, share it. Some of my need it out there. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.